Hello and welcome to another episode of The Hows at Noon. I'm your host, Liam Noonan, and with me, as always, my co-host, Rocky Hollows. Hey everyone, Feliz Navidad. <laughs> yes, Merry Christmas. And this is our special Christmas episode. Um, so today we would like to talk about our Christmas traditions and how they've changed this year because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Usually I'd be wearing uh, antlers around Christmas, but I couldn't find them. So all I have are my wolf ears from Great Wolf Lodge. <laughs> yeah, and I have um, an elf cap in my car, but I couldn't, I didn't have the time to go out and get it. So today we're going to be talking about that, our Christmas traditions, and um, maybe our top five Christmas movies Sounds good to that me. we've seen. So for Christmas, usually I go up to my uncle's house and I, I spend the entire day there. Um... I would have dinner there and they would have a huge dessert. Everybody that was going had to bring something for dessert and they were assigned uh, dessert to make. Like um, I would make, my family would make cookies and brownies and lemon squares sometimes. So it's kind of like a potluck? Yeah, yeah. It's like a big potluck. potluck. Mm, that's fun. Those. My mom just said it isn't, but... <laughs> um, well, I'm Mrs. Newman. Yeah, I don't think she can hear you because <laughs> my headphones plugged in. Yes. <laughs> he says hi. <laughs> they said happy holidays. Oh, bless your mom's heart. Yeah. I think I'm going to you guys too. You too. Thanks. Um, but yeah, since COVID happened this year, um, my family decided to stay home. And what we would do at my uncle's house, my mom did to us, me, my brother, my sister my dad yeah. we all had to make a dessert or like an appetizer or dinner individually like each one of you yeah yeah uh, so what did you make? Wait, make i made the apple pie that we talked about oh yes and i made lemon squares mm, interesting yeah, my brother made um, mini cheesecakes, which is basically like the cheesecake on top of a vanilla wafer Ooh, and a cupcake nice. holder. Nice. Uh, I don't know the second thing that he made. And we had to make two things. Yeah, we had to make two things. Um, Wow, Actually, it's gonna have a lot of leftovers. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, now that I remember it, he made mincemeat tarts. Interesting. Yeah, my sister is bringing carrots and nut cups. Nut cups. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. I think it's flour and mashed up almonds i don't know mm, sounds interesting i don't know sounds like what, what you'd find in a hershey's pot of gold box yeah because i remember there were like ones filled with that had cashews in them man i love my, hershey's. my mom just said that nut cups were mini um pecan pies Ooh, that sounds nice yeah so for one thing, you might have leftover desserts for book club. <laughs> like yeah. A week later, had said there had there not been COVID nineteen outbreak right now. 
Luckily, I know the vaccines are coming soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. They said that they're probably going... I just looked on CNN before I logged on here. Yeah. On Zoom today, and it said on CNN that they're trying to distribute two, at least 20 million vaccinations before by the end of 2020. So they have a week to do this, by the way. Yeah. Keep in mind, that, like, they have one week left. Like, a week from today is New Year's Eve. They have exactly. A and my other friend told me that they're trying to bring vaccinations to prisoners before regular people. Yeah, they... Um... I think they're... Probably gonna eat the most because they're in a confined space. So... Um... But yeah, isn't... Isn't the plan that Joe Biden for, in Joe Biden's first um, 100 days that he wants 100 million people vaccinated? Oh, uh, yeah. It better be ordinary citizens, too. Like, me, you and I, you know? Yeah. It's my new boyfriend, obviously. <laughs> yeah, they're... Um, they're doing... Like, the public feet public figures first, congressmen. Yeah, because nothing screams healthy citizen like Kim Kardashian's giants. Well, you know what. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's, yeah that qualifies first. That that thing should definitely get vaccinated before me. Someone who actually would work my ass off instead of just being in the entertainment industry. And you too, you know? Yeah, you yeah. Know? Especially in that <laughs> Y'all need that shit. Um, I'm add a bleep the button to that last word I said. Yeah, I gotta have to. I'm gonna have to bleep that one. <laughs> um, okay. Remind me to use yeah, my they, laptop next time. I have a bleep button on my voice mod. <laughs> uh, I have the sound downloaded. I gotta find it, but mm. yeah. Once, once I start editing, I'll probably put it in. Mm. But I like the <laughs> tradition though. Getting back on topic, I really do like your tradition, though. Yeah. I don't think, yeah. since I can't cook for, if my life depended on it, unless it was making grilled toast or popcorn, I feel like that I'd bring be bringing a toast, a piece of toast and <laughs> some popcorn with yeah. a lot of melted butter, extra unnecessary melted butter on it. Yeah, my... Um... My grandparents were were good cooks in the in the kitchen. They were pretty good cooks, so they taught um, my mom's sisters and my mom's brother singular, because my mom only has one brother. Mm. So they all they taught them all how to cook. And cool. whenever I get it, whenever I get the chance, um, my mom sometimes teaches me how to cook things. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend knows how does it, knows how to cook, and he also knows how to make gourmet coffee drinks. It's nice. Yeah. Should I, I say what my tradition is though soon? Yeah. yeah. Or. Yeah, you okay, can... I don't have, I have like the most basic one ever, by the way. So, mm -hmm. basically, well, should I, like, I don't know if I told you this last month, but Black Friday, every year we put up our tree in Black Friday. Exactly on Black Friday. We don't, no more, no, no later, no yeah. sooner. But yeah, and that, and those decorations and that tree does not stay up until a week after June. Like, it stays up until a week after January. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, on Christmas Eve, on an ordin ordinary year, my grandparents would usually come over, like, and have dinner with us. And my mom would go all out with the dinner table and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. And, like, we'd have a nice dinner, some nice dessert. It's usually fish. I don't know why, but it always seems to either be, to be fish or something. And then, after my grandparents leave, I would literally go upstairs and take a nap, and Santa would have already showed up at my, at my house while no one was looking. 
I guess who wanted Santa's VIP list because mm-hmm. this year Santa showed up a week before the, before Christmas. I'm like, what the? <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. there are kids. Probably, there are probably kids watching this. Kids are all over YouTube. Yeah. Um, for me, Santa came like a week early mm. and had all the presents underneath the tree already. Yeah. Rumor has it that Santa will, if you're extra good each year, Santa's going to deliver to your house in advance. Um, <laughs> Don't look up naughty things on the internet. <laughs> yeah, there was something I saw on TikTok from the New Jersey governor, because he has a TikTok page where he deemed Santa an essential worker. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. that. So I'll edit that in. Um, yes. I, I would have to find it, save it to my phone, and then send it, email it to me. I have a whole, I have a whole lot of work to do while yes. editing. Hey, I I edited something brand new on my YouTube channel last night, and it's been up, and I uploaded it today, and it's like a nostalgia collection from the 90s, 2K, and early 2010s. Yes, yeah, so like childhood nostalgic things. And Is it like I, the the commercials that you do? Like the... No. What, no. Hmm. No, it's... Well, there are some in there, but only nostalgic stuff like Zoo Pals and Christmas Tree Shops. And, you know, uh, I put the eye dog in there because I actually that I had one when I was a kid. I just noticed that outside, it's all, all the snow's already melted. So yeah. Mother Nature already wants us not to have a white Christmas on Long Island. Yeah, there's some... I think there's still some snow in my neighbor's yard. I mean, look at this. This is Mother Nature saying, Ha ha, you don't get a white Christmas. <laughs> and I want to flip Mother Nature off for that r- particular reason. Yeah. It's all rainy... And it's like, yeah, you're not getting one ever. But I mean, I'm already celebrating Christmas in my room. I mean, my mom made this little tree right here. My mom made this when she was little. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a ceramic uh, little Christmas tree. But the lights are a bit weird. I think the light bulb thing got loose because someone knocked over the tree a week ago. And now it's like, it's been dimmed. Hmm. Yeah. But my mom, my mom brought in the pie that I made because I think she wants me to show you. Oh yeah. Ooh, it looks so tasty. Mother yeah, Day. yeah, it is. It was when I put it in the oven. It, it smelled so good. I just wanted to eat it right then and there. <laughs> Nobody deserves this pie, but you. Yeah, my- <laughs> My mom really wants me to show the apple pie that I made to people. That's nice. Okay, so... I'm gonna, then, I was yeah. going to say, like, usually on a normal Christmas year, my uh, grandma would have us over the next day on Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, my, uh, gra- my aunt, my cousins from, like... Pennsylvania would usually stop by for like an hour and have like orange juice and stuff and then go to their other cousins that are also in the same town as me and then their grandma and then I think their grandmother's house who is somewhere out east near the Hamptons probably so they have quite a fun day drive yeah however this year it's not normal yeah Far from not. It, to the point where apparently this year I'm this year tonight on Christmas Eve I'm going to you know, my grandparents' house, and tomorrow it's at my house. So, of course, 2020 had my parents flip things on me. And, yeah. Wonderful. Still open my presents tonight, though. I don't care. If not, I'm gonna open them when no one's looking. (laughs) I'm bad. (laughs) What What I used to do on Christmas Day was invite my um, my dad, my grandmother, my dad's side over for Christmas breakfast. 
Um, and she would watch us open up all our gifts. It was like a sweet kind of um, the, the sweet thing. Like she would have nobody to celebrate Christmas with her and open presents with her. Um, so we would invite her over to my house, have breakfast with her. And as soon as my dad dropped her off at a, her apartment, we would go up to my uncle's house, my mom's side, spend most of the day there. And then my dad would drive us all the way back to one of my aunt's house on my dad's side of the family to pick up my grandmother. Because I, I, I literally used to live a couple blocks away from her. Um, but seeing that she died back in 2015, um, we don't really go over to my dad's side of the family anymore. It's a lot of driving that he has to do, so we're just okay. giving, yeah, we're giving him the slack and saying, hey, um, you know, my dad has to drive two and a half hours upstate and two and a half hours back to the city. Mm, so he's, yeah, he's pretty tired by the time we would get to his sister's house. Um, plus that and all my cousins on my dad's side are older than me and most of them are married. And they have kids of their own, so mm. they don't really meet anymore. Mm. That's so, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. So we gotta I'm gonna pause the recording right here. So we could discuss our favorite Christmas movies. Mm. And now with our personal lists of our favorite Christmas movies. Here's Rocky Hollows with his top five. Thank you, Liam. You're welcome. All right. All right. So my number, I'm, we're actually going from five to one. Uh, so like counting down. My number five favorite is uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Um, I kind of like how it's the sentiment of it all like, you know, like, you only have one life, and your life has an impact on many other people's lives in a good way, believe it or not. So it's definitely yeah, life is worth living. And that last scene always gets me with every time a bell rings. That an last scene gets always, always gets me. Always yeah. gets me. I love it so much. Uh, number four for me is the Warner Brothers animated version of the Polar Express. I kind of just like the innocence of it all and like that I believe it's pretty nice fun I think fact three, fun hmm? fact actually about the Polar Express um mm -hmm. most of it was motion capture and most of the work was done by Tom Hanks oh wow yeah he he plays the conductor uh, Santa Claus, um, and I think most of the little kids. Oh my God! Oh wait, was he the know-it-all kid in the glasses? No, um, Poindexter guy. He was the main character, the the little kid that. Oh, the blue, the blue hoodie one. Yeah, and um, also he played <laughs> the hobo that sat on top of the train. Oh, yeah. Have a nice cup of joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was kind of cool. Yeah, it actually is. Go talk. He should have... Did he, he must have received an award for that. Seriously. Uh, for me, number three is also uh, Scrooge. So not like a Christmas Carol, like the one with Disney and stuff, or like the original. I'm talking Scrooge, the movie with Albert Finney. Rip. Rip Albert Finney. The OG Scrooge, yes. Okay. Uh, it was released by CBS Films. So, yeah, you know, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I, th I, I think the production was just amazing. 
timeless and yeah uh number two m1 are kind of similar for the same for me but number two my number two favorite is home alone 2 lost in new york it's fun when literally new york city is your backyard it's yeah. not my backyard i'm in like on long island but you get the point it's like not too far so i know where everything is you know yeah it's a lot of fun yeah uh, and i've seen the plaza. And at last weekend i actually saw the plaza hotel in the movie and I literally asked the doorman when I walked up and saw, I was like, excuse me, uh, that j- jerk doorman, the one that t- sounds like Charles Shaughnessy from The Nanny, who was in Home Alone, saying, he doesn't work here, does he? And he said, no, that was just a movie. I'm like, thank goodness. And I took a the selfie one, with the doorman. <laughs> the one who uh, plays Pennywise. In, Wait, that was him? Yeah, in the TV version of it. That's Tim Curry. Wait, Tim Curry was that guy? Yeah. The British guy. Yeah, the British the British guy. Um, Who was also the bell helper said, I love you. Yeah. This, and also was like stolen credit card. Literally. Yeah, like, he oh, was credit card. He that plays- guy was creep- so creepy. I swear. He was so, such a creep. When the he, mom hit, slapped him across the face with the glove, I was like, justice has been served. Yeah, he yeah. plays Pennywise in the original uh, it miniseries. Wow. You're saying, you're telling me that's J- Tim Curry? Yeah. That was Tim Curry, a.k.a. Buzz Lightyear. AKA- no, it's not Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear was um, Tim Allen. That's what you said. No, Tim Curry... Is Pennywise. Oh, no, we were... oh wait, never yeah. mind. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, like, okay, never mind. That's too dumb. And number one was Home, the original Home Alone. I just, I don't know. It's just timeless. The family was full of, sh- full of shit. Yeah. Leaving like, Kevin all alone. Look what you did, you little shark. Yeah. God, the uncle was such a jerk, a ho- raging jerkaholic. I swear, he reminds me of my mom. <laughs> I love my mom. She's probably watching this. Love you, mom. <laughs> yeah. It's... Yeah. Is both a Home Alone 1 and 2 both on Disney Plus? Yeah. One, th- one, 2, and 3 are on Disney Plus right now. Hmm. Hurry before they take it off, though. Maybe a limited of time. You never know. I no. want to get an HBO Max account. Only so I yeah. can see a time distant lands. Yeah, I hear um I hear that new Wonder Woman movie that's coming out tomorrow is pretty good. Wait, oh yeah, tomorrow. I yeah, almost forgot about that thing. It was supposed to come out in June and then Corona happened. Yeah, the Warner Brothers is doing this thing where from for all its releases in the present future from Wonder Woman 1984 until like 2022, they're going to be releasing the film in theaters and on HBO Max. But they've they've gotten into a a lot of trouble because um, Legendary Pictures, the people who are making the Godzilla versus King Kong film that's coming out next year, um, wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah, they who would do. Win a fight? That's pretty much a who would win in a fight movie. Godzilla versus King Kong. That I gotta see. Just yeah, they not didn't. On the screen. I'd, I'd rather wait. <laughs> they didn't like it. They didn't like that decision. Um, so they. I think they're going to sue Warner Brothers mm. over that. I don't know. Mm. Um, Plus a whole bunch of directors and people who were promised a cut of the box office reg- revenue are pissed off that they're not going to get as much. I mean, I would be too, honestly. Yeah. I can lie. If it were me. <laughs> and that has been a rocky moment. Yeah. I dropped my phone and yeah, sadness. You can cut that part out right now. 
I'd, I'd, I'd keep, keep it. it. No. I'd keep it because it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, why? But I was going to say, like, if I were, if it were me, I would kind of would be pissed, too. Because, like, you know, like, that's, like, profits that you were promised. Like, yeah. It's messed up. You're going to actually... The- bone falling i'm so sad now <laughs> but to play devil's advocate um i think that it's kind of a smart move by warner brothers and at&t because at&t owns warner brothers um they do yeah since when since two years ago where what rock have i been living under it know. was it was huge. It was like uh kind of like how as huge as when Disney acquired 20th Century Fox. Not as way, huge. By the way, like yeah. on a side note, I'm sorry to cut you off. If they don't keep Fox in 20th Century Fox, I'm a throw hands. They're gonna get these hands. Yeah, I think uh AT and T bought the company Time Warner for about uh, four billion dollars, um, but since AT and T and Time Warner were basically phone companies, phone and internet companies, um, Time Warner had to sell off Spectrum, which, in order for it to be successful. Yeah, I just got Spectrum Internet. I got Spectrum because all of us were going to be on um, Zoom calls for our classes. Me, my brother, and my sister are going to be on at the same time. So I think my mom wanted a stronger bandwidth than Verizon was going to give us. Mm. Um, yeah, there was the Spectrum guy walking around our neighborhood, and he pretty much signed my mom up. with television also, so. (laughs) Our set-top boxes came with Netflix pre-installed, so. Oh, that's nice. Does it mean you get, they gave you Spectrum for free for like a month or something? Um, no, I think we paid for Spectrum, and we already have Netflix. We already pay for Netflix, so mm. it just came pre-installed. Okay. So, for me to get back on topic, yeah. What's uh, your my, favorite, your top five? Let's hear them. My top five Christmas movies are A Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Mm. At number five. Even though I haven't seen it in a long time. I've never seen it. I yeah. I kind of feel nostalgic for it. Um, I Last time I saw it was probably like nine years ago. Uh, back when Blockbuster was still around and they uh, had it. Blockbuster. I missed yeah. that. I missed that store. I like the did you, did you see? Of did you see... Um, like a couple months ago, they turned the last Blockbuster store into a, a Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. That I actually want to go and check it out one day. That yeah, sounds. It's on my tra- traveling bucket list. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Yeah. You get to lay in bed in a Blockbuster and watch movies. Yeah, with all the store clerks walk just hanging around you. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I think you I'm have to wait fine. until this store closes and everybody leaves. Mm. Just for privacy. Yeah. Um number four. My number four Christmas movie is a Christmas Carol. There there are multiple versions of a Christmas Carol, but the story is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, with Scrooge and the Jim Carrey motion capture one and the Muppets Christmas Carol. It's it's a Christmas Carol story. It's pretty good. Yeah, so like Scrooge, yes. Yeah. Um I like Scrooge most without a penny though. My mom my, for a family, but yeah. My Yeah, go ahead. I said what's your third? Uh, my third is the Polar Express. Mm -hmm. Um the animated Polar Express movie. We already went over that with Rocky's list. Yeah, I think that was my number four. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that was number four. Um my number two spot, my number two, my second favorite Christmas movie, I think has to be the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> his, <laughs> his Grinch is so iconic. Like, is that the live action one? Yeah. That one gave me night terrors. <laughs> Green yeah. It. Story Night Terrors. But Jim Carrey was like the best part of that entire film. Mm -hmm. It's the most is the most here's the most memorable memorable part of it anyway. Uh, definitely. You can't be in a green and furry costume and not be iconic with it. Yeah. No matter how many night terrors you gave me, he still kept pulled it off. I heard that it was extremely hard for him to pull it off. They had to hire like a ex CIA operative who knew how to go undercover, all because of the prosthetics that they had him under. Oh yeah. They had him. They had him in a fat suit and yak fur, green yak fur, and the nose prosthetic. And the makeup all, all over his face. And yeah, the, and the whiskers. The whiskers and the tainted eyeballs. I mean, if you think it was... You said this is Jim Carrey, right? Yeah. He's, I know Jim Carrey is known to not be able to pull off serious faces and stuff because... Have you seen him in Liar Liar? Yeah. He's, when he's he out. wakes up the next day and says... I've had fun. I can't lie. I can't lie. It calls that woman a Jezebel in court. And makes all those ridiculous, hilarious noises. Like, I could tell he was having a seriously hard time, like, keeping a straight face. Yeah. He had a... I love that movie. He had a fun time on that movie. Um, yeah. I've had better. <laughs> Yeah, that's the point where the kids go to sleep. Yeah. Go to sleep, um, Santa's coming. <laughs> okay, Jim Carrey has been able to pull off some serious performances. I fell out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have uh, you seen next... The Truman yeah. Show? Have, wait, have you seen The Truman Show? No. Nah. It's basically... Um, Jim Carrey plays... Truman. He he's a star of his own like reality TV show, yet he doesn't know it. Yeah. So they built like an entire fake city in all of Burbank, California, just to hide the fact that he was on a very popular TV show. Okay. And it, it's pretty good. He's pretty serious in it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my first, my number one 
Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I know, I know that was my number five favorite. Yeah, with everything that we said before, it's um, yeah. it's pretty iconic. The last the last scene in the movie, you know, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. It's it's beautiful. Yeah, I it's love all, that, that last scene. I love it so much. It's all in black and white and shot on film. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty iconic. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I we mean, wanted to talk about today because it's ordinarily I put go over wrestling and stuff, but I didn't really watch TLC this year. You know, tables, ladders, and chairs. The only thing I will say is that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are no longer the tag team champions. No. All I'll say is that there are new tag team champions mm-hmm. in Asuka and Char- and the returning Charlotte Flair. Woo! But other than that, I don't really know what happens. I think Sasha defeated Sasha Banks defeated Carmella, but that's only because I so people they actually had the nerve to post the spoilers on their YouTube page. Oh, you might as well not watch. Yeah, the match. I don't really care. I don't really care. But I'll say one thing though. Yeah. The next time you hear from us, I'll be going over the 2021 Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. My fa- AKA Rocky Hall's favorites, my favorites pay per view every single year because I just love all the surprises. The surprise, all 30 surprise entrants. I'll, so I'm not going to go over all the 30 entrants. I might, I mean, I might, but I don't know. But I will point out my favorite surprise entrance after it happens. Okay. That that goes without saying. Okay. And, and hopefully it is still happening in the next early next month, you know. Who hopefully knows with with COVID it might be canceled this year. This next year. If it is, I'm throwing I'm going to Hartford, Connecticut where their office is and I'm throwing hands. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, I think that's it for this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, would you like to do the honors, Rocky? Yes, you can fi- find me everywhere at Rocky Hollows, including YouTube. We're no longer the FN. Uh, now it's Rocky Hollows YouTube. We're gonna be posting. I'm gonna be posting stuff, a few more videos in the next few mo- next two months, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll po- be posting a little bit more. Now that school's ended and I'm taking a gap semester. So yeah, go subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Like my videos at Rocky Hollows. Oh, and Rocky Radio NY. Why not? Because why not, why not just throw out the other one too? Yeah. How about you, Liam? Um, you can find you can find me on my Instagram at Dog Possessed. Uh, my Twitter at Liam High School One, I think it is. Um, and my YouTube video, my YouTube page, which is what you're listening to, please like and subscribe. Go down and like and subscribe for more Hollywood at noon. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to get this this show off the road, and we want to get monetized. We're gonna split it 50 50. Yeah, 50. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we we still gotta talk about how we're splitting the profits when we eventually get can be eligible for monetization. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. that's that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays, everybody. Bye. Be safe. See you in twenty twenty one. See you in twenty twenty one.